my husband is in for a treat. My husband to be. I receive him by force, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm not joking. Well, I'm not joking, but yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Let me stop now. Let me stop. I'm being so silly. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I gotta finish this and go to bed. Hi guys and welcome to uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time. If you like to see how I did this look please feel free to continue watching. I'm really sorry if I look wonky. I told you like my tripod is giving me problems. I'm gonna sort it out but um yeah for now that is what it is. Before I go any further I need to introduce you guys if you guys don't know about it. I need to introduce you guys to a new product that I've been using. As you guys know that I've been promoting a lot of brown, um, brown owned or even African owned or even originally from Africa. Owned. And this is one of the companies that I have been using. It's called Skin HR and the product is for your hair and for your skin you can use either the moisturizer or the cream and the base is shea butter i am going to talk a lot more about it in the um in my um in my voiceover but i just wanted to introduce this, this smells delicious i'm going to tell you that from now it's absolutely delicious um, as it says on it, you can use both products for skin and hair. Um, they capitalize on the fact that, that our hair and nails are actually modified types of skin. And so Skin HR Moisturizer works to keep all three in tip top condition, okay? But like I said, I've been using, I've been using the liquid balm more for my hair. It's got um, a light, it's a lighter moisturizer with signature scent and essential oils. You can use it for both skin and body. I've been using this one more for hair and more for my hair, especially my hairline. I think I told you guys that I'm trying to grow my hairline because like I've been cutting my hair for the past six, seven years, but I've noticed that my hairline hasn't grown back. But from what I remember, it never was there in the first place. But obviously that's probably from so much tension of flattening my hair, weaving my hair and all them things there. Do you know what I mean? So now I'm really trying to concentrate on getting all of this hair back. You know what I mean? I'm cleaning it back by force. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've been using the cream, uh, the lotion, or the liquid balm, should I say, more for my hairline and for my hair. And I've been using the balm more for the, my body. And I'm telling you, the way my body feels nice and supple. Listen, when my husband, when I get my husband, the way he's gonna be feeling baby skin, baby light skin, it's gonna be like wow. He's gonna be like wow. And in fact, these products are doing something for your skin. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna talk a lot more about it in the voiceover. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce you to their skinhr.com. I will leave all their details, all the details in my description box. And listen, they these these creams smell so divine. This smells like cherries or something. I don't know. And this smells like ice cream. It's like you want to eat it. I'm not lie to you. But yeah, they're really really good. They smell. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing good. <sighs> I don't want to be politically political, so I won't be political. But this government don't know what the hell they're doing, do they? another semi-lockdown basically the, the 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 virus doesn't actually appear until 10 o'clock at night so we all have to be home by 10 o'clock we've got a curfew more or less to be home at 10 o'clock is basically what these new rules are telling us basically they sleep all day the virus sleeps all day this at 10 o'clock at night they're like yeah you not ready you not ready let's go and get them so yeah, so now we've got 10 o'clock curfew, or the pubs and pubs, pubs even, and restaurants have a 10 o'clock curfew, um, which ultimately means we have a curfew to an extent because there's not going to be anything opened for there to for us to be going to gallivant or anything like that. Not that I'll be gallivanting or anything, not even that I plan to, but you know, it would have been nice to have the option if I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? But um, guys, listen, just be wise in your... You're, you're going ins and outs, basically, because, I mean, no, no, I don't know, I don't know. 
But anyway, um, like I was saying to you guys before, I'm still looking for collaborators to work with, make some YouTube videos with, make some um, Instagram posts with and thing like that. So feel free to contact me if you're interested. Also, like I said, I keep on saying this. Listen, do you not, not want the giveaway? Do you not want it? I just, I just, I just I, when I sit down and I think about it, I just, I just, I can't understand. Why? Why is it taking so long? Huh? Why can't I hit 3,000? Why is it so hard? Huh? Charlie, why is it hard? So anyway, yeah, the giveaway is still on. Whenever, whenever I get, get 3,100 subscribers, I'll be giving away the giveaway. Okay, that's basically all I can tell you. But um, yeah, that's that. And like I said, I still am looking or planning to do a Q and A with my daughter. Um, feel free to ask me any questions that you want me to ask. Um, answer in in the Q and A. Um, I'm gonna do a Q and A by myself, I think, as well. Just being a mother. Um, you know, having a business, obviously studying as well. Um just life in general I'm, I'm happy I'm I'm I feel like I'm ready to like open up you know open up about my life so feel free to ask me any questions as well um what else this is another one of the robe and then I've got the bonnet here I thought let me put, I wasn't sure if I was gonna actually put the bonnet on in the video or not on the tutorial but I decided not to and to be fair I got inspiration for the colors that I did in the um for my look from from the from the uh, anchor I let me know so um, yeah guys that's basically I don't know what else to talk about today I think I'm done I'm done with it but um let me go take some pictures for the gram and go to bed but guys stay safe be wise I won't say too much just be wise that's all I'll tell you guys all right so let me leave you guys enjoy the video stay blessed take care bye Hi guys, so yeah, like I was saying, I wanted to talk a lot more about this pro these products that I've been using. It's called Skin HR, and its um, base is a combination of shea butter, raw, raw coconut oil, and cold pressed avocado oil. And I'm telling you, they smell absolutely divine. Um, they're sustainably produced in bottles of bliss, as all the bottles are glass as opposed to plastic as well. And that obviously maintains the integrity of the product as well, guys. And um, yeah, they use the purest plant in ingredients, especially chosen for their healing properties not only do you experience that luxurious quality like what i'm doing now with my hair is just to get all the nutrients of the product into my hair I told you guys i'm trying to you know sort out my hairline so i'm telling you they are divine guys they really are so let's get started into this um tutorial and all the pro details of the products are going to be in the description box guys where you can purchase them and everything as well okay cool so i initially used my skin prep by meron to just um uh mattify my brows and then i um cleaned my face and i used my embryo leaves all things i've done before you've seen it all before and i'm gonna lie to you so i'm just using the underpainting technique I used my concealer. This concealer, I've been using it like I've got like over 15 different types of concealers. And all I've been using is this Juvia's Plus one for about the last year. I don't know, not a year. I haven't even had it that long. But anywho. And sorry for my croaky voice, guys. I'm getting over a non corona cold at the moment. I'm fine now, to be fair. It's really at the last stages. But I just thought I'd let you know just in case my voice is sounding more sexier than usual. <laughs> Only joking, but anyway, so I went in with my um, Estee Lauder Daywear um, foundation in HC ANC1, I think it is. I knew it was way too red for my my <coughs> the undertone. It's just a bit too red for for my my skin, but I thought I'll use it and just try and balance it out with other products anyway. But I could tell afterwards it was a little bit redder because I've got a my undertone is <sighs> it wavers. Like on my chest, you can say it's red. On my face, it's yellow. It's it's just it just wavers. I don't, I don't know how to put it. But anyway, guys, I as you can see me, I'm not even talking about what I'm doing because you see me do this over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I then went in with I think that was the dark to contour a lot more. And as you guys know, like I told you, now what I do is I kind of do my um 
liquids technique then I do the same thing with the powders so I will go over my um, I will go over everything I've, I'm doing now with another powder just to level everything out make everything look equal and make everything look um, flawless basically so now I'm just contouring at the moment I've already um, set everything else with my set the under the highlighted area and now I'm now going ev over everything with I think it's the deep so it just makes everything flawless as you can see then I wanted to contour a little bit so I um, use my glow splendor um, I can't remember what color I used everything will be in the description box as per usual and you see I forgot to tell you guys to share even the, the the signs haven't come up but I'm gonna remind you now guys and then I use my Mario Badescu but like I was saying guys share um what else is there to do hey child I've forgotten at once but yeah as you can see here I'm highlighting my fierce initially I used the Nubian um a uh, heroin Juvia's place highlighter um in one or two i can't remember if it's one or two but i i use both of them you're gonna see soon anyway you're gonna see but as i was saying i keep on forgetting to say this guys share comment like subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you know whenever i'm on that i can be showing you some more techniques or what to do to your makeups okay then i use my my um beverly hills dip brow in granite and i what i did this time around is i obviously i outlined my brows I then shaded in like halfway through my brow. I think you will see. So I outlined initially. And I'm just outlining as you can't see it, as you can't see it. Then I shaded in from the tail halfway, not even half, like two quarters of my, oh, two thirds of my brow. And then what I then did is I used a spoolie to, um, uh, feather out the the, the 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 beginning of my brow so that it was not so thick and it looked more realistic basically as opposed to putting the, the the product all the way to the tip of my tip and the tail of my brow I put it at uh, midway through shall I, I said I'd like the talking doesn't want to talk today I don't kind of lie to you so I decided to put some I don't usually bake and it wasn't really to bake it was just to catch any fallout because I knew I was using my BH cosmetics matte brow and that sometimes gives me problems oh yeah i think my interlude oh has the interlude come oh did i miss out my interlude You know, I haven't done the interviews for some time, so I thought I'd give you some small interlude there, you know what I'm saying? Then I went in with my, uh, a bit of an orange transitional colour, because I just wanted it to look a little bit more gradient. So I'll use the orange in my Juvia's Place. You can't remember what palette it is, but everything will be in the description box. And I, am, um, you know, smoked it out a bit more with a more fluffier brush. And then I patted pat a lot more of the red on, because I felt that it had disappeared through me trying to smoke out the um, transitional colour. Then I went in with the blue or green in the, I think that's a festival palette. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do, if I was going to do a cut crease or what. I just wanted to just experiment and see. But yeah, I ended up doing a cut crease with the eyeshadow as opposed to putting down a, um, or priming my lids with a concealer first or any type of eyeshadow primer. I just went straight in with the, with the um, eyeshadow and it came out all right, it came out all right. So yeah, I'm just shaping it as to how I wanted to shape it. Then I used the dark blue from my crayon case palette just to deepen the outer corners of my um, cut crease. Um, it wasn't really to define my V because the outer V because the cut crease wasn't didn't go that far out it was just to give a bit more definition to the blue and make give it more depth basically and so here I'm just patting and um, blending the two shades together then I use my amuse liquid liner and I wanted to do more of an exaggerated um, 
wing liner today so it was a lot more thicker and a lot more well it was just a lot more um elaborated should we say and like i told you guys before i do need to learn to stretch out my lids when i'm doing my wing liner i realize it does come out a lot more um <sighs> a lot more better a lot more how i want it to look basically you know what i'm saying guys i can't ah i think i didn't put enough of this share and like and subscribe all because me, me can't see but i'm remembering so here's your other reminder guys here's your second reminder to share comment like subscribe subscribe comment like um you know you know let's just stick together you know um feel free to add me on ig as well is as of my mua beauty here i'm using my um like i said before it's from the morphe brushes brow kit and it's meant to be highlighter but it's not for my delicious melanated skin so i use it more to um brighten up my eyes but here i use it as a primer to actually set the um, eyeshadows in place and make them more bright and let it come out in its truest color so that's what i've done there and then i smoked everything out with the same red that i had used on my um lids so that's what i'm doing here but i haven't forgotten guys i said share and comment and subscribe okay here i just use a little bit of my cc powder that i'd already used under my eye to clear off all of the powder that i'd used i use the ben nye powder i didn't even say the ben nye, ben nye loose powder here i just wanted to use um a bit of the orange from my um uh to for my tear that's from my um actually what's going on today my crane case palette i use my bella Fa um contour here like i said i used the second highlights i can't remember which one is which but i use both of them that's what you gotta know you know what i'm saying so i've done my lashes offline as i've been doing lately because you guys know how i do my lashes now um i will put i'll try and put in one of the videos here somewhere where you can see that i use i did the I, my eyelash routine as well and as you guys have been seeing for my last few um videos i've been using the um chocolates palette for my to line my lids I didn't like this um, color so I thought you know what let me put some of the orange that I put initially then I went in with the lighter brown to make more of a highlighted color and that was it I just cleaned it up a little bit so I ended up using the orange in the crayon case for my lips as opposed to the MAC that I had initially used because I did, I wasn't feeling it and here I'm just cleaning it up making it a bit neater as, as you can see here I'm pressing more of the eyeshadow the orange eyeshadow it kind of went with my tear ducts as well you know what I'm saying and that was the finished look guys um I hope you like it guys subscribe guys share I'm looking to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year so feel free to subscribe it's absolutely free and here I took a few um pictures um just to show you guys closer my closer a closer definitely you know a closer detail of what i was doing you know what i'm saying hope you guys like it it's still available for my online classes here i put one on with my bonnet took a picture of my bonnet as well you know what i'm saying and that is it guys um feel free to contact me in regards to collaborating feel free to ask me any q a questions hey i was trying out a new style to pull my hand over my head i don't know if you walked by any but guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe see you guys See you.